I want to try to explain that order matters when you apply graph transformations and I'm going to try to do that using two similar but different examples. The first example is I'm going to start with a square root shape and I'm going to apply two transformations to it in this order. I'm going to reflect about the x-axis, that means flip it upside down, and then I'm going to shift it up two units. So I'm going to show all three pictures. The first will be the original square root shape. The second will be the square root graph flipped upside down. And the third will be that upside down square root shape shifted up two units. Now you know that the original square root graph, a uh, plain old square root shape, goes through 0, 0, 1, 1, and 4, 2. And it looks like this where it goes it touches the origin and the domain is zero and all positive numbers. Now flipping it upside down means you take this original square root shape and take every y coordinate and make it negative. And so we're going to tip this shape over and we're going to get this kind of graph and it goes through one negative one, four negative two, and so on. Then I'm going to take that shape and shift it up two units so that 0, 0 is going to turn into 0, 2. And all of the points, their y-coordinates are going to go up two units. And so we're going to end with this kind of shape. It looks upside down, it still goes off to the right, but it sort of grows in a downward direction. Now here's the other example that I want to work. I'm going to take that square root shape, I'm going to shift it up two units first and then I'm going to tip it upside down. And so here's that original square root graph again. Now when I reflect, no, first I'm going to shift up two units. And so that equation is going to be f of x is equal to the square root of x plus 2. And that transformation is simple enough to do. You take your original shape, every y coordinate is increased by two units, and so the graph will look like this. Now I need to take that shape and flip it upside down. And I don't just mean tip it upside down maybe about this point. I mean I have to reflect across this axis. That means I need to take this point, 0, 2, and I need to make that y coordinate negative. It needs to turn into 0, negative 2. This graph here goes through 1, 3. That point needs to become 1, negative 3. So all of the points actually become much more negative, and I connect those dots to make the square root shape. So this graph is very different from the graph that we got in the previous example. And in fact, the function formula is different as well. When you reflect across the x-axis, you're supposed to take this entire formula, no matter what it is, and put a negative sign out in front of it. So my final function formula will be square root of x plus 2, giant parentheses around the whole thing, and put a negative sign out in front. You can distribute that if you like. You get negative radical, two, negative radical x minus 2 instead of plus 2, and that accounts for why those uh, graphs look very different.